Hello and welcome back to Mastering Pivot Tables in Excel. I am your coach Vinay Prakash. In this lesson, we are going to get familiar with the menus and tabs of the pivot table. We will look at how to apply a table style quickly and how to start over quickly if we make a mistake. So let's get back to Excel. You can open the inventory data Excel file. This is the data that we had looked in the previous lesson. You can quickly create a pivot table. This was what we had created in the last lesson by vendor, by store, by product. We are able to look at the inventory. So let's begin here. When you move your mouse out of the pivot table, let's say I click it here. The last menu item you might see could be view or developer. But the moment I click inside a pivot table, you will notice the pivot table tools menu shows up along with two new menus, options and design. So right now, I am going to show you some nifty things you can do on your pivot table just by using these menu items. So let's stay on design. What you can do is you can beautify your pivot table, make it look sexy, jazzy, more beautiful. How to do that? Just click on one of the pivot table styles. As you notice, I have not even clicked. I just move the mouse and the color changes to show me what I am going to get. These are not the only styles that are available to you. You have a huge number of styles. All you need to do is to click on this bottom arrow and you will see a huge plethora of different tables and styles. All you need to do, move your mouse and you can see what the pivot table will look like when you apply this style. So choose whatever you like. I will just use a simple style for now just so that it becomes easy for us to view the data. So let's choose this. I have taken this style. The second thing to make it more beautiful or easy is you can notice that the rows and the columns are showing in bold. This is because we have clicked on the row headers and the column headers. When you remove the checkboxes, the colors are gone now. It's one single color and all same plain font. But when you click on row headers, they become darker, making it easier for you to see. Similarly, column headers. On top of it, we can say that we want banded rows. If you remember the old dot matrix printers where every other row was like blue, white, blue, white. So you can actually click on it and you get the similar effect. Now, this is quite useful if you are working on a large workbook or a large pivot table with a huge amount of data because with coloring, with lines, it becomes easy for us to track and find out which row, which column this number belongs to. So pretty useful. Similarly, you could do banded columns. So every other column is darker in color, making it easier. Now, don't overdo it. Some people get pretty greedy and select everything. Now, this is a bit overdone. I don't like this kind of format, although it is up to you and whatever you see, whatever you like, you can choose like that. For personally, for me, this is too much. I'd rather get rid of the columns and I'm pretty happy with just the rows getting banded. So all we have done is just selected different styles. Now let's get to the options menu and see what can be done here. The next thing I want to show you is when you're working with a huge amount of data, if you have 50, 100 or 500,000 rows, then even creating a pivot table might take a few seconds because Excel has to handle all this data in its memory and then move them into rows and columns and summarize it. So when we move a field from the row to the column or from the column to the row, things move on the fly. But when we are working on a large amount of data, 
it is recommended that we don't update it on the fly rather what you can do is just click on defer layout update so the layout won't be changing on the fly now we are free to arrange our pivot table in the way we want it and nothing will change as you can see here may want to bring the part number here so i bring in the part number move the product here and now i feel that okay that that's what i want this is uh, i don't want this so i throw it out i don't want this throw it out i want the unix on hand okay i think this is what i am looking for all right so once i have decided what i want then i can click update and the pivot table will be arranged according to the new layout here so this is a pretty nifty simple trick all you need to do is click on defer layout update and then as you move things in they won't be jumping all around the place take your time build it the way you want it and then click update it's pretty simple and once you are done you can remove the defer layout update checkbox so you will see life come back on all the icons at the top now in the last video I told you that if you don't want to remove things one at a time because it takes time or you may want to do a quick method what you can do is to go to the options menu choose clear and just say clear all everything will be removed and you will be able to begin with a brand new pivot table report so these are some simple tips and tricks let me show you a couple other simple tricks. So what we are looking at now is the parts, each of the part for each of the product and the quantity there. Now, if you notice this area here, sometimes when you click outside the pivot table, suddenly you may get worried. Oh, what happened to the field list here? Did I make a mistake? How can I get it back? Many people get worried. But do not worry at all. Right now we are outside the pivot table. That's why we don't see the pivot table field list. As soon as you click inside the pivot table, the list will be shown to you. But what happens is if let's say I move the part number here. Now the field list is overlapping the data. I can't see my data here unless it has to scroll. If I want to have more room for my data i can anytime kill the field list by clicking on the close button at the corner here when you click close the field list is now closed can i get it back do you think it's impossible no my dear it is easily possible go to options and then click on field list that's it the field list is back so you can bring it on or off as you feel like it. If you don't want it, get rid of it and then click. Or you can just simply click on the field list button. The next interesting thing I would like to show you is the plus minus buttons. Notice here, if I don't want to see the detail, you can click on the minus button and it becomes like a plus. Let me zoom in a bit. I click on the plus and things collapse so you if you want you can say I don't want the plus minus buttons or if you want to see you can say I want to see the plus minus button in this way you can drill down to the lowest level and drill up if you don't want to see the detail so these are some simple tricks to make the data make the pivot table look better by changing the color, by changing the look and feel, by applying a style, adding banded rows, columns, and by adding buttons. So what I want you to do now is to open the inventory data Excel file, play with it, apply a different table style. Let's say I would recommend if you could apply pivot table medium 24. If you don't find it, Never mind, you can apply any other style. Get into banded rows, banded columns, and then play with the buttons, 
the plus minus button the field list you should be able to do it pretty easily all on your own that's it for this lesson all the best